everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers have discovered a genus of insect with sex-reversed genitalia. And yes, sex-reversed genitalia means exactly what it sounds like. The females have a penis-like organ, which they insert into a vagina-like opening in the males during mating. The insects were found in Brazil and belong to the genus Neotrogla in the order Socoptera, which contains the insects more commonly known as bark lice. So far, four separate species with these very distinctive features have been identified. The Neotrogla bark lice are the first animals ever discovered with this kind of sex-reversed genitalia. Beyond being a fascinating discovery about a previously unknown part of the natural world, this is good news because it reminds us that our concepts of sexuality and gender are merely approximations, and when we treat them as absolutes, we do a disservice to the world they were intended to describe, and all too often, to ourselves. And by the way, the penis on the female Neotrogla is the equivalent length of about a 9-inch member on an average adult human, so I take it the fellas ain't complaining. Although the penis also includes uh, spikes that anchor it in place during mating, so maybe they are. Next up, engineers in South Korea have invented a device capable of wirelessly transferring energy across a distance of 5 meters. Five meters might not sound like a lot, but it's more than twice the previous record achieved at MIT in 2007. This new system, developed at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, is capable of wirelessly operating an LED TV, three 40-watt electric fans, or simultaneously charging the batteries of 40 smartphones. Obviously, this technology is still very new. Range and efficiency will both need to be greatly improved in order for Y power zones to become as commonplace as Wi-Fi. But thanks to this breakthrough and others that will undoubtedly follow it and build upon it, that's the direction we're heading. Someday, tangled power cords and plug-in chargers will be a thing of the past. And finally, astronomers have discovered an Earth-like planet orbiting within the habitable zone of its host star. The planet is part of a five-planet system orbiting the star Kepler-186, approximately 500 light-years from Earth. It's a bit less than 10% larger than Earth and orbits its star once every 130 days. Kepler-186 is an M1 dwarf star, about half the size of our Sun. This newly found exo-Earth, officially designated Kepler-186f, sits close to the outer edge of its solar system's habitable zone, only receiving about one-third the heat energy from its sun as we do from ours. Nonetheless, it should be possible for liquid water to exist on the surface of the planet, a necessity for life, at least as we know it. Researchers discover insects with sex-reverse genitals, engineers build the longest-range wireless power transfer device yet, and astronomers discover an Earth-like planet orbiting within the habitable zone of another star. That's the good news. Why are you so grumpy? Don't you think that's good news?